mastermind adil nimrod r chemistry plays an important role in our daily life right from the time we get up in the morning until the time we go to bed at night we use many chemical products chemistry is not only the way of our life but it has also improved the quality of our life for the advancement in chemistry the quality of the food has also improved now we have a variety of food items foods that are not the native of one place can also be cultivated and harvested during any part of the year the production of food have also improved through the use of fertilizers fertilizers are of three types nitrogen phosphorus and potash fertilizers ammonium nitrate urea and superphosphates are the most solid form of fertilizers cow dung or cow cake are a more natural form of fertilizers called manure apart from these fertilizers plants have to be protected from weeds fungus insects etc such chemicals are known as insecticides pesticides and weedicides some common pesticides and insecticides are malathion copper sulfate and borax mixture though these chemicals are brought in the green revolution they should be used with utmost care just as they are capable of increasing soil fertility they are also capable of harming the environment the food we eat contains five major nutrients they are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals in addition food also contains dietary fibers and water which are also needed by our body so what is a nutrient a nutrient is a substance which is essential for growth and for maintaining life do all foods contain these nutrients well with simple methods we can test whether our foods contain these nutrients for carrying out these tests you will need solutions of iodine copper sulfate sodium hydroxide slash caustic soda apart from these you will also need few test tubes we must do these tests very carefully and do not try to eat or taste any chemicals i have some rice dal and chips on my plate Let us begin by testing different food items to see whether they contain carbohydrates, proteins and fats. I have taken cooked rice in one and dal in another test tube and I have taken chips on a piece of paper. To the first test tube I add this iodine solution. And now I shake it well. Voila! It has turned bluish black, confirming the presence of starch. To the second test tube, I add two drops of copper sulfate and a few drops of sodium hydroxide slash caustic soda. For this one, I have taken four drops. As you can see, it has turned violet. almost violet but it has turned by confirming the presence of proteins now for the third test when when i rub this paper against the chips you can see that little bit of the oil has come so this oil we can see that is confirming the presence of fats what do these nutrients do to our body Carbohydrates provide us with energy. Starch, sugar, glucose, which are present in wheat, maize, rice, potato, honey, banana, etc., are rich sources of carbohydrates. Fats are also called lipids. Fats are nutrients which give us more energy than carbohydrates. Some examples of fats are coconut oil, ghee, butter, cream, etc. fats also help in the absorption of fat soluble vitamins a d e and k proteins are also called amines proteins perform a vast array of functions and is referred to as body building foods some examples of proteins are milk cheese 
egg, meat, pulses, etc. Vitamins are complex organic substances which can resist the growth of harmful microorganisms in the body, thus protecting us from various diseases. They are important for healthy growth, normal eyesight, etc. Though vitamins are needed in small quantities, their presence is very important for our body. Minerals are elements or chemical compounds that are normally crystalline. Minerals include calcium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, magnesium, manganese, sulfur, chlorine, iron, iodine, fluorine, zinc, copper, selenium, chromium and cobalt. Besides these nutrients, our body also needs dietary fibers and water. Dietary fibers are also known as roughage. Roughage is mainly provided by plant products in our food. Whole grains and pulses, potatoes, fresh fruits and vegetables are main sources of roughage. Roughage helps our body to get rid of undigested food. Water helps our body to absorb nutrients from food. It also helps in throwing out some wastes from the body as urine and sweat. Normally, we get most of the water that our body needs from the liquids that we drink, such as water, milk, tea, etc. In addition, we add water to most cooked foods. Did you know that the skins of many vegetables and fruits contain vitamins and minerals? We all know that cooking improves the taste of food and makes it easier to digest. At the same time, cooking also results in the loss of certain nutrients. Many useful proteins and minerals are lost if excess water is used during washing and cooking. Vitamin C gets destroyed easily by the heat during cooking. Did you know that for growth and maintenance of good health, our diet should have all the nutrients that is needed by our body in right quantities? Such a diet is called a balanced diet. If the food does not contain a particular nutrient for a long period of time, then the person may suffer from its deficiency. Deficiency of one or more nutrients can cause diseases or disorders in our body. Diseases that occur due to lack of nutrients over a long period of time is called deficiency diseases. Some of the deficiency diseases are listed as under. Lack of carbohydrates and proteins causes malnutrition which is visible in the form of poor growth. Vitamin A deficiency causes night blindness. Vitamin B deficiency causes beriberi which leads to weak muscles and nerve disorder. Like that there are so many deficiency diseases which we should be careful of. So please, don't take the topic of food lightly. Eat right and stay fit. Want to win a war? I mean, fight? Then, stay healthy. Continuing about food. There are some foods which can be preserved for a longer period of time. The process of treating food to stop or to slow down food spoilage, deterioration of quality, edibility or nutritive value is called food preservation. Food preservation reduces the risk of foodborne infections and preserves the nutritional value of food. How can we preserve food at home? How can we preserve food commercially? What is food processing and how, what is its importance? All these and lots more will be answered here itself or in our Tell Me Why of this chapter. So please do not forget to check the description box below. Hope you enjoyed my presentation. Stay